Welcome to another POV video and uh, for this one, pag-uusapan natin yung isang tanong na nakita ko sa social media recently and it's about why Filipinos are supporting or favoring Korean dramas over our own Pinoy teleseries. Uh, bakit nga ba mas tinatangkilik ng mga Pilipino yung mga Korean novela uh, or yung mga K-drama kumpara sa mga Pinoy soap opera? And I think... There, there are different angles to this conversation, pero yung dalawang point na nakikita ko kung bakit nga ba mas gusto ng Pilipino ang K-drama over Pinoy soap opera is one, utak kolonyal ang mga Pilipino. And I am guilty of that. There was a point where I, I was only watching foreign films or Hollywood movies and I don't have time or I don't pay attention to Pinoy content. And that's that's part of us. That's innate to Filipinos. Uh, anything that's imported, anything that came from abroad, anything that was produced by another country, we love them. We buy them. We adore them. And and, and that's part of, of, you know, of our being Filipinos. Gustong gusto natin yung mga gawang banyaga. And 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 I think that's that's one main reason kung bakit mas feel nating panoorin yung mga K dramas over Pinoy soap operas. I personally do not follow any K dramas at the moment. I used to watch some Asian novellas in the past, but at this moment I don't follow any K dramas. So I I'm, I I do apologize if my opinion is probably not the same as what the others uh, have. But I think yun yung isa sa mga main reasons na bakit mas gusto nating subaybayan yung mga foreign um, uh, content over our own Pinoy uh, soap operas. Mas nakikita natin na mas okay kasi cheap yung mga Pinoy content. Yun ang sinasabi ng iba. Uh, but I think as someone who watches and follows Pinoy soap operas uh, every now and then, kung bibigyan lang natin ng atensyon yung mga ibang series na nire-release ng either GMA or ng ABS-CBN, eh makikita natin na may sense naman. Maganda naman yung kwento. And um, uh, exciting namang subaybayan. So I think if we just give it a chance uh, um, and, and let's start embracing yung sariling atin, maganda, maganda rin naman paminsan-minsan is uh, nakakapanood tayo ng mga content na gawang Pilipinas. And that's our way of also supporting, you know, the, the arts, the culture, the entertainment industry in the Philippines. I think the, the second point that I have is around aspiration. And we Filipinos, we aspire to be foreign people. I think... Galit na galit tayo nung mga panahong sinasakop tayo ng ibang bansa. But eventually, after that, naging aspiration natin na maging katulad nila. Uh, which is why patok na patok yung mga Korean novela sa Pilipinas. Because we see this lead female character, you know, very white skin, flawless, kutis porcelana. Maganda yung buhok, riband na riband, maganda yung kilay, maganda yung makeup, maganda yung pananamit, very slim. Uh, those are the characteristics that we all want to have. And I think because we see these people, we see these Korean celebrities as aspirational and we want to be like them, what we tend to do is support and embrace whatever they're doing. We follow them. You know, we, we want to see what they're doing. We want to copy what they're doing. And yun yung isa sa dahilan kung bakit mas maraming nanonood ng Korean content over uh, Filipino uh, soap operas. Because we want to watch, you know, uh, their journey. And because we want to be like them. And, and you know, there's, not, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with idolizing someone, uh, especially if it's out of, if it's from a different country. That's, that's normal. And that's part of, you know, pop culture. Um, you, you idolize someone. You, you, you want to copy them. You want to be like them. But I think uh, ang nangyayari is Filipinos do that at the expense of their own Filipino um, uh, local celebrities. Mas dumadami yung tagahanga ng mga uh, foreign celebrities over our local uh, celebrities. Um, which I think is something na kailangan natin i-examine kung bakit nga ba ganun yung nangyayari. I think 
Filipino TV producers uh, and Filipino filmmakers should invest some time to to analyze and to understand yung yung behavior na to ng Filipino viewing public. Um, which is also um, related dun sa type ng content na pinoproduce ng Pilipinas. And, and I think this is also one area where we can improve or where the Filipino TV and film producers can improve. The type of stories that we tell, the type of materials, the type of movies we produce, the type of TV shows we release. Uh, Paulit-ulit. And, and I think if, if you're a viewer who has seen six different soap operas with exactly the same plot lines, magsasawa ka talaga. You will crave for something different. You would want to see something else. And I think yun ang nangyari. Masyado tayong uh, nabigyan uh, or, or we were served the same material through the years. And then this Korean novellas came in and it's very refreshing. It's a breath of fresh air. Uh, bago yung kwento, bago yung concept, bago yung angulo ng camera, uh, it's different in our eyes. And we thought, okay, you know what? Um, I'm not gonna watch this soap opera from GMA7. I'm gonna stick to this new K-drama K- K- because it's different. It's something new. Mas maganda. Yun kagad yung iniisip natin. So I think that's also a, a, a point of reflection for Filipino uh, content producers. You know, start com- start coming up with something different. Start exploring the sto- different stories. Start um, uh, coming up with stories that aren't part of what we used to watch in the past. You know, think of something new. Uh, throw the cliches out. And, and explore, you know. There's plenty of uh, different uh, angles that you can look at. There's plenty of different uh, concepts you can experiment with. And yun yung kailangan gawin ng mga Filipino content creators, uh, Filipino movie producers or TV show producers. Uh, maging experimental. They need to be bolder with their choices. Um, don't stick with the formulas. It doesn't mean it worked in the past, it will work again. Nagbabago yung trend ng uh, TV viewership, for example. Nagbabago yung consumption ng, ng mga manonood. Nagbabago yung pananaw ng, ng viewing public. And we need to, to go with that change. We need to embrace that and we need to adapt to it. Uh, yun yung medyo kulang sa, sa Filipino um, in TV uh, industry, yung pagsabay sa pagbabago na nangyayari when it comes to the content na lumalabas. Um, and I think, you know, there is hope na at one point or someday, maibalik yung pagkahumaling, yung pagkagusto ng mga Pilipino sa Filipino content. And, and, and I think we, we need to, also as viewers, we also need to give it a chance. Sometimes there are producers who are bold enough to, go, to come up with the material na kakaiba, but we tend to ignore it. Hindi natin sinusuportahan, uh, which means like for flops the box office or nawawalan, mababa ang ratings and therefore natatanggal kagad yung TV shows. Um, so I think we, we also need to give uh, Filipino uh, TV uh, a chance. You know, we need to give it an opportunity. Uh, to show us something new. Because if we don't do that, then again, they'll stick with their own formulas, uh, with their old for- formulas, and we'll just end up going and switching to our favorite K-dramas. Um, so there you go. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Kung ano bang uh, tingin nyo kung bakit mas tinatangkilik ng mga Pilipino ang uh, K-dramas over Pinoy soap operas. Ano ba yung uh, uh, mas gusto natin sa mga Korean novelas over our Pinoy teleseries? I'd love to hear your opinions. Please add your comments on the comment section down below. Uh, and also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel para mas updated kayo sa mga latest videos. Um, and again, thank you very much for watching. And until then, bye!